How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video we're going to get this HP printer printing from our Android phone. Just like that. First thing you're going to need is a printer that is indeed compatible with mobile printing. Most modern HP printers that are wireless are compatible with iPhone and Android printing. So if your printer is fairly new and it does connect to a Wi-Fi network, more than likely it will print with your Android phone or tablet. Before anything, you're gonna wanna connect your printer to your Wi-Fi network. And then the next step, you're gonna grab your Android phone and you're going to make sure that you are indeed connected to the same Wi-Fi network. There should be a little Wi-Fi icon in your top right. If you drag from the top down, you should be able to see a Wi-Fi connection right here. If you hold down on that, it will bring you to your Wi-Fi options. It lets me know that I am indeed connected to eight foot ceilings. That is where my printer is connected. So we are on the same Wi-Fi network. The next step is to navigate to the Google Play Store, open up the Google Play Store and search for HP Print. You're gonna want HP Print Service Plugin right here. We're gonna click on that. That is what the HP service plugin looks like. You're gonna hit install. And what this app does is basically gives your phone instructions on how to print with HP printers. It's kind of like installing a driver when you're installing hardware on your computer. If you hit open, you'll see that it doesn't really allow you to do anything. It just has a couple of options. You gotta accept their end user license agreement, but there isn't really anything else. Now you can download this HP Smart App if you want. It's a little extra to give you more features. I'm gonna show you how to print without any of that, just using the basic Android print dialog. So now we're gonna navigate to what we want to print and you can either pull it up in a browser or you can pull it up in your files. And I'm just gonna print this example page, open it up with Google PDF Viewer. Now that you have your document that you wanna print, this is 43 pages long, but we're not gonna print all 43 pages and I'll show you how. You're gonna to go to these three dots at the top, then you're gonna hit print. It's going to open up the Android print dialog. And then from there, I'm going to hit this drop down at the top and you're gonna to wanna to go to all printers. Now this is going to try to recognize all of the printers that are on your network. I have a lot of printers. As you can see right here, it's the HP LaserJet 200. That's what we're printing with right there. Yours will have whatever printer model you have. If it's not automatically recognized, you can go down to add printer, go to HP service, and then you can connect to it if it's on a Wi-Fi network or using NFC that way. But a lot of the times it's automatically recognized you should see it in this all printers drop down, or maybe give it a minute to load. We're gonna pick our printer, HP LaserJet 200 on my wireless network. And then from there, if you hit this drop down, you get a lot more options. You can pick how many copies you want. If you want it in color or in black and white, orientation, what's the paper size. Here it says pages, we're gonna hit that drop down, and we're gonna go to range, and we're just gonna print page one. If I do one to four, it'll print pages one to four. If I do one comma four, it'll print pages one and four. It'll just skip everything, but I'm just gonna print page one. And then we're gonna hit the print icon right here. And then we're gonna hit okay. Now it's gonna send that print signal to our printer. It might take a minute for it to warm up, kick on, but then it should print your document. And there we have it, just like that. A beautiful document from our phone to our printer, and you should be able to replicate this very, very easily. If you have any questions, throw them in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.